the streets up. before I did it in one of my hauls. Remember this with the black pants? That's what she wore today. <sighs> All right, y'all know how it go. We cook and sit. And this stove is hot, y'all, but I got my sanitizer bottle for those who may be concerned about anything she prepared. All right, so we gonna fry some fish up really quick and I'm doing it in a quick way so I don't have to um, make my video long and I got something to do somewhere to be somewhere to go but I wanted to cook some fish tonight because I really want a fish sandwich you guys I don't know if any of you ever heard of a restaurant called Doc's Doc's restaurant I'm sorry y'all that TV loud can somebody please turn the TV down a little I apologize so we gonna fry some catfish um, cause I really want a good catfish sandwich. So I'm gonna fry some catfish and some fries for the famos. And I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm doing. What I used was one of these little fish fry packets. I used two. Um, I only got about $30 worth of catfish y'all cause they love seafood around this place. Um, so, and with that seasoning, I add about a cup of flour in with it. And I got a couple of other se seasonings that I'm going to add into my season with that also. Um, and you go by your own measurements, okay? We're going to go ahead and get this started. I already, I'm sorry, I already cleaned my fish. Grease is already hot. Ready to go. So we ready to go, okay? So let's get this party started. I also have some um, cinnamon and smell good in an old pot burning on the stove because whenever I, I always burn it because it makes the house smell good. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that before. This pot right here, it got like Mr. Clean and water in it with a little bit of cinnamon to kill the fish smell. Yeah, I found that on YouTube. Everything you want is on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my, y'all know, my steak seasoning into I already kind of seasoned it this time you guys so I'm not gonna go crazy with this just a couple of little things I want to add I want some smoked paprika in there it adds a, a nice little taste to it y'all see that pork fall out that's okay some garlic powder y'all know I don't use garlic seasoning gar garlic salt so garlic powder this stove is hot, y'all. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Old Bay in there with that too. I did add a uh, half a cup of um, half a cup of cornmeal too. So yeah. Hey y'all, y'all remember that daughter? I said I wanted to move back home. Guess what? She moved back home today. Look at me. Why am I speaking into existence? So we're gonna clean those before we put them away. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So this is my little concoction. I got the assembly line going on down here. I'm about to move this pot, y'all. I was trying to get my grease hot for my fries. I'm gonna turn this down. It smells good. Also got a little bit of maybe a some milk, some I have some milk and egg batter made, and I'm gonna dip and drop. Here's my fish. And y'all gonna see me put it in the grease. That simple. Keep it simple. Especially when you're cooking for a house full of people. I got on my gloves, y'all know my famous gloves. I'm gonna try to use this other hand just for batter. I like a crispy coat on mine. And I got all 
all black, y'all. I should have put on my apron. Y'all know this is a, a home, so y'all hear the washer going. Y'all might hear some other people talking because they talking. Y'all didn't have to turn it all the way down. I was listening to some music. Ooh, and I use peanut oil, you guys. It just fries better. And it's a little healthier, too. Yes. That sounds great. Be back, you guys. guys. That's my ending result of my catfish. And here it is. Just to take a look at that. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to show you how I assemble my uh, fish sandwich. I use a little bit of tartar sauce. Um, I'm going to put a little pepper on a little bit of coleslaw that I put on my sandwich also and a little bit of um, Red Hot Red Hot um, Hot sauce. I'll come back and show you what it looks like All right, and that's with the tartar sauce All right, there's the fish added all right, that's the fish and the coleslaw put together. I'll put the bread on top and show you the end result. All right, this is the end result, you guys. So good. Um, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. Tell your mama, daddy, sister, brother, auntie, uncle to come by here and see Miss True Redbone. You guys have a wonderful night. And don't let the door hit you with a good Lord's you. Thanks. Peace, y'all.